Well, um, they're they're obviously maybe the hottest team in the country right now. The way they've played over the last couple weeks, um, and, and they're a good club. It's a complete club. They can they can score runs. They can pitch. They play defense. So uh, I think it's a really balanced club that's hot at the right time of the year. Yeah, that's what we know about him. He's been really good, um, and not just lately. He's been really good all year long. So. Uh, I think for us, we're going we're gonna to have to do a good job in our situational offense, number one. And, and I think we're going to have to run into a couple balls, hit a couple balls in the gap, or maybe run them out of the yard to, to, to have an opportunity to stay in it. Have you seen him much on film? Yeah, we have. We've seen him a little bit. Um, and, again, sometimes film can be a little bit deceiving, too. I know this. The stuff is really good. He's a competitive kid. He's got great numbers throughout the year. He's pitched extremely well. So, you know, I, I think you try to avoid – thinking too much about what he does, and hopefully we can execute a game plan that we've put together. How do you feel about us? Good. I mean, uh, Miguel's been good all year long. He's, uh, he's been really consistent all year long, and uh, our expectations are for him to go out and compete like he has all year long and, and be the same guy. I don't think he has to do anything different. He's just got to be his best version of, uh, of Miguel, so we're excited for him. That complete game shut out for Miguel in the Summit League Championship. Just how much momentum is that for him heading into – Arkansas. Well, let's hope there's a lot of momentum for him, but uh, I don't know that those carry over. I really don't. It's uh, it's going to be a week old, um, and and he's used to pitching once a week, so I don't know that it's any different than any other start for him. Hopefully he's a little bit more confident than he was going into that, but but ultimately this is a new game. This is a new atmosphere, and uh, and we're excited for his opportunity. Are you surprised you guys are a four seed? Oh, I don't know. I think that's for somebody else to decide. I can tell you this. We're excited to be here. I think when you look at this venue um, and the competitiveness of this regional, we're excited to be part of it. I think it's going to be a great atmosphere. I know the place is going to be sold out tomorrow. Uh, we're excited to be in it. Miguel said you guys did that with kind of slowing himself down and not kind of shutting out outside distractions. Because Arkansas is going to have a big, raucous crowd here. How do you think he'll handle that? Atmosphere? I think he'll handle it just fine. Uh, I think, you know, we've tried to prepare him for this moment by, by playing a good schedule. And we've played some tough road games uh, in hopes that it prepares guys for this moment. So I think he'll be just fine. Different atmosphere having kind of like four almost like neighborhood rivals <laughs> as opposed to you know, the different yeah. regional. Yeah, I, it's very different. I think it's very unique. And, uh, you know, when you when you look across of it, there, there's as many storylines as you want to create. Uh, I think all the teams are – uh, know each other extremely well. A lot of the players know each other extremely well. They've played against each other for a long time. Uh, all the coaches are kind of intertwined. We all know each other and have uh, have been around a long time. So I think it's very unique across the country. How much would you like to get the Arkansas series going again? Uh, haven't played regularly since 2004. Well, it's not just that. I think you know you, you try to you try to play as many people in your area as you can. And Dave and I have talked at, at length several different times. So we'll get it done. Arkansas is the only team you haven't faced in this regional all year long. You split with Missouri, got two wins over OSU. Does Arkansas make you guys nervous because you haven't seen that team in this regional? No, I don't think I, I don't think guys get this time of year and uh, there's any anxiousness about who you're playing. I think you concentrate on how you play. Um, doesn't really matter who we play. We feel like if we play well, we're going to have an opportunity to compete and win, and uh, and that's what our, our our focus and our preparation goes to. How much do you like having Missouri State and OSU in this regional teams that you have faced and have gotten wins over? Well, I think, you know, there's a certain familiarity that goes along with it and some confidence that comes along with it, too, because you, you've played well against a couple of those clubs. So uh, I think that gives your players some, some confidence going into it. So uh, I, I just like the fact that, man, we're, we're close to home. Our fan base is going to be able to travel. And I think you can say the same for, for the other two teams that are traveling in here. Uh, I think it's very unique. I think it's going to be a great regional. I think he's a really complete player. I think, uh, you know, obviously his catching skills are very, very good. He can catch. He can throw. He's got really good range. He's got leadership qualities. Um, he, he, he's, there's toughness to him. I, I think when you look at a catcher, he, he possesses a lot of the tools that you want in, in that guy, and I think that's what a lot of the professional people are seeing as well. He's a complete player. He hits too. <laughs> and he hits too. That's awful nice as well. 
one over Arkansas. Does this make this game a little nostalgic? I don't think so. I, you know, there's just a couple people um, in our program that were there at this time, uh, myself and uh, and one other assistant. So none of these guys were here. None of our players were here. Uh, our support staff wasn't here. So that's a long time ago. Uh, we're excited to be back at the same venue because we, uh, we know what kind of venue it was then. I, I expect it to be a lot of fun, but man, that was a long time ago. See this possibly turning into a slugfest, even with the, even with, you know, two good starting pitchers with the home run history. I don't, I don't think you ever really know. I don't think you ever really know until you kind of get into it and, uh, and see how both, uh, both the pitchers react. But I think both teams can play that way if they need to. Obviously, Arkansas has hit 80 home runs as a team. Uh, we've hit, I don't know, 68 or 70 home runs as a team. So I think if you get into one of those kind of games, we feel like we can play that way too.